Hi, I'm Bonnie Krebs. Welcome to another watercolor stamping project. This project is super, super quick and easy. This is our little barn, and now we're going to start by inking the back of it with our number 45 sepia. I'm just going to color the back of this stamp. This is one of those projects that you can do in about five minutes. So quick. Okay, now that I've got it inked, I'm going to stamp it on my watercolor paper. So, and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to pinch off the extra water and I'm just going to pull the color out of the lines. Just carefully draw out the color. Don't want to get too much water on here. Just follow the lines. Super easy. Now we're going to come back in and put a little bit more color on the roof. And I'm going to do that from my palette. So I'm just going to take my 45 marker, color it on my palette, and then just take my brush and brush the color on. Like so. Now I'm going to add some color into the windows of the barn. I'm going to do that with the number 86 African Violet. And again, from my palette. Just like so. Okay. Now if you think that you've lost a few of your lines, don't be afraid to go back in here with the fine point of your marker and just bring these lines back in if you want. Sometimes if you add a little too much water you can use, lose some of these lines. That's the nice thing about these fine point tips is that they're great for putting detail back in. Okay, so now we've got our little barn finished and we can go to the next step which is putting in the foliage. So I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to use my number 15 green, and I'm just going to color the green on my palette. I'm going to dip my brush in water now and add some water to that color. And I'm just going to brush on a green cloud behind this barn. This kind of gives us our background trees. Just wherever you think that you want to put some foliage. Don't worry about how to brush this on, just the main thing is to just get the color in here. Okay? Now as soon as that's dry, it feels dry to the touch right now, I'm going to ink my little foliage. This is a really small foliage and it's great for use in background like this. So I'm going to ink the back of this and I'm just going to go in with a darker color. This is a number 72 green, this is a pine green, and I'm just going to ink part of the stamp just one small area and I'm going to stamp in the foliage back behind this barn. You can see how these trees will start taking shape now. I'm going to take my brush again, dip it in water, and I'm just going to carefully pull the color out of these lines. Just soften these, these little leaves up. And again, I don't want to get too much water on here. If I get too much water I'll end up losing my lines and that's not that's not what I want to do. So I've just got a little bit of water on this brush, just with a very light touch. Okay, so I've got my foliage in the background now. I can add some flat or uh, some grass in the foreground, and I'm just going to use my little tiny grass stamp. This is one of my favorite stamps. I use this in almost every project, and I'm just going to tap in some grass here. And again, my damp brush. I think I'll add a little bit more green here to my grassy area. And if you want to brush in a little path from the doorway, 
Use the number 45 from your palette. And you can brush in a little pathway. Okay, now I think I'm going to add my little fence to this barn. And I'm going to do this with the positioner because I want to make sure that I'm stamping it in, in the right place. I don't want it, want it to be stamping over the top of the barn or too far to, to the top or bottom. So I'm going to use my positioner. And I'm going to place the plexiglass shield into the corner. And I'm going to ink the back of this. I'm going to use my number 45. And I'm just going to stamp this fence in the corner. So now I can see where I want this to go. And I think I'll do one, two, three, six posts on the right hand side. So I'm going to put this back in here. And I'm going to clean off my stamp just with uh, water. And I'm just going to ink up six posts on the right hand side. Put it back in the corner, and I have my stamp on the right hand side. Now I can do the left hand side, same way, just clean it off, a little bit of water, use my plexiglass, and I think I'll use one, two, three, four, five posts on the left hand side. So I'm going to put my positioner back in the corner. And again, ink just five posts on the left-hand side. This back in the corner. And I have my little fence in the background. And if you like that clean cut, sharp edges, you don't need to add water to this if you don't want to. Or you can just take a very tiny edge of your brush and just soften these lines. color back in here. When these when this dries you can add a little more color in here if you'd like. If you like this to be a little darker. Okay now I'm gonna go on to the uh, foreground and I'm just gonna use my wild grass. I'm gonna ink this with my number 15 right in the foreground. Again, I'm going to use my brush and water. I'm just going to soften these lines. Okay, now I want to add some wildflowers in here. This is our little wildflower stamp. So I'm going to ink this with a darker color. This is the number 8 violet. And I'm just going to stamp this right over the top of this. And again on the other side. Just add my brush in the water and just carefully soften these little flowers. Always sign your work. These little paintings are your own creation. Always sign your work. There you go. Do the watercolor barn. To order art impressions, rubber stamps, instructional booklets, and watercolor accessories, visit our website, artimpressions.com, shop our store. AI stamps are available mounted on wood or unmounted on clean cushion for use with acrylic mounts.